All right, my first graders, today we are finishing up um, lesson 8.7. That is page 475 in your math book. Okay, so remember we started this lesson, but we didn't finish it. We're on page 475 in our math book. All right, so we did work on the math, uh, the math on the spot video, and then we stopped. I just want to go over what we were doing the last time we were working on this chap on this page. So remember, we'll take a look at the, this one over here. So remember, when we have when we're adding right a problem that's going down, right? We show it thirty five. There's our thirty five, and then we have thirty eight. So we're just making it one on top of the other. When we add our ones place. If our number's too big, like this was the number 13, we have to look at it, it's too big. We have a 10 in the number 13. So we keep the three and we move, right? We keep our ones, we move the 10 to the 10 side. And so then we add all the tens, right? And we said one plus three is four, plus three more is seven. So our answer was 73. I showed you here as well how when we have the number 13, right? We add in going down, 5 plus 8 is 13. Well, 13 is way too big to go there, right? So we split it. Our 3 stays here, and we move our 10 to the 10's place. And see how we see the number 13? Just split up, 1 and a 3, right? The 1 goes on the 10 side, 3 stays on the 1 side. Then we add all of it going down, right? 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 1 more is 7. So 73. Okay, so we looked at that and we could even model it out where we circle the circle all the ones, right? Look, there was 10 ones. We circled them. That's our that's our 10 that needs to be moved over here. All right, so we're going to be seeing more of that today. And we also saw that sometimes it was fine, like this one, right? Two plus three is five, so we don't need to move anything. One digit is fine. That's our ones fine. Okay, so it's only when we have too many ones. All right, so we are going to skip over this one right now. We're going to look down here at our Think Smarter. So draw a quick picture to solve. Han has 37 shells. Jonah has 15 shells. How many shells do they have? So they want to know how many do they have all together. So we have Han who has 37, so I can line this up, 37, and Jonah has 15. So it's a good idea to put them one on top of the other, right? We line up our plus problem, and then we're going to model it out. So think how many tens do we have? Well, we have three tens, so we put our three tens. How many ones? seven ones. So if you want to pause while you're modeling this out, you can, because I know I might write faster than you do. Okay, so we're going to keep going. Then we have 15, one ten, five ones. So again, if you want to pause, if I am writing way too fast, go ahead, because you want your picture in before you move forward. Okay, so if you need to pause to finish your picture, go ahead. Hit play when you're ready. Great. Now I'm going to look at my one side. I'm going to count my ones first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whoa, twelve. Too big, right? What do I do with that number twelve? Yeah, I'm going to keep my ones. So I keep my two ones and I'm going to have to move my 10. My 10 gets moved to the tens place side. Okay, I move it over. Now, look, see, same thing with 12. Here was my group of 10, right? That's 10. So that's, that's the number 12, 10 and 2, right? We have our ten, group of 10 that I moved over there and I keep my 2 by itself. Okay, now how many 10s do I have? One, two, three, four, 
five. Five tens. So what number did I make? Five tens and two ones. That's the number 52. Okay, and I'm just going to show you over here on this side, right? Seven plus five. Well, if I have seven and I get five more, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve is too big, isn't it? Right? So I have to split my number. I keep my two and I move my one, right? Do you see how I split it? Looks like the number 12, doesn't it? A one and a two. Okay, then I add all of these. One plus three is four. Four plus one more is five. So I get the same answer. This is just without drawing my picture, right? Because I took my number 12 and I split it, right? I keep my two goes here. My one goes up there. All right, if you're ready, you can turn the page. If not, you just pause. <clears> hey, <throat> okay. draw a quick picture to solve. Kim has 24 marbles. Al has 47 marbles. How many marbles do they have? So. Let's look at that again. Kim has 24 marbles. Al has 47 marbles. How many marbles do they have? Well, we want to know all together how many do they have. So, we're going to make a plus problem. 24 plus 47. And I know they don't give you much room. Okay. Then we want to draw it out. So, 24, two tens, four ones, 47, four tens, seven ones, 7 ones. Okay, first thing we're going to do is add the ones. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Whoop! Eleven. Too big. What do we do? We keep the ones place. What are we going to do with the tens place? The tens place gets moved. Right, we'll move it over here. Got to move it to the tens place. All right, now we see how many tens do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what number do we make? Seventy-one. Seventy-one marbles. And we see that here, right? 7 plus 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, right? We'd have to split that. 1 over here, 1 up here. Here's our number 11. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 more is 7, 71. Same answer. All right. My first graders, I don't always have you go over here and look at this, but guess what? I want you to try 31 plus 26. Don't worry about this part, right? We've been skipping that part. I want you to work on adding 31 plus 26. Draw it out. Add your ones and your tens, right? Find your answer. Write your answer in, right? You can also divide it up to add. Then I want you to try 54 plus 34. So pause, work on this, hit play when you're ready to check. Okay. If you're hitting play, it's because you answered these and you're ready to check them. So let's see how you did. You should have had three tens and one one. Two tens and six ones. Okay, then you added them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
seven. And it's okay because it's there it doesn't it's not a big number, so seven can stay. That's still only in the ones place. Then I add these all up. Three plus two, and I should have had five. So my answer was fifty seven. And I could see that if I added down, right? One plus six, just like what I did here. Seven. Three plus two, five, just like what I did here. All right, how did you do on this one? 54, you should have had five tens, four ones, three tens, four ones. When you counted these all, you got eight. When you, there, and that's a single number, so it's okay, right? One digit number. Five and three, you should have gotten eight. So your answer was 88. All right, now we're going to take a look at one second. We're gonna, all right, we're going to take a look at this one. It says choose two add-ins from 11 to 49. Draw them add them in, add in any order to solve. All right, so when it says twos, two add-ins from 11 to 49, so I'm gonna pick two numbers, okay? We're gonna draw them and we're gonna work on solving it, okay? So let's go with, hmm, 32 and 45. All right, 32 and 45. So I want you to draw out 32, draw out 45, okay? And then I want you to see what does 32 plus 45 equal? Okay, maybe you can count them all, right? Count them up and say, what does 32 plus 45 equal? If you need to line them up on top of each other and add them down like we did, you can do that as well. So go ahead and pause. Play when you're ready to check. Right. If you're hitting play, that means you solve this. You have an answer right here. Let's see how you did. 32. You should have had three tens, two ones. 45. Four tens, five ones. Okay. Okay, so now to add them up, right? I think I want to do this. Here's my TO chart. How many ones do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Woo! Seven ones. How many tens do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven tens. So how much did I have? Seventy-seven. Could I have lined it up this way? Maybe you rewrote it this way so you could see it going down. So maybe you might have done that, right? Two plus five or five plus two, you had seven. And then you looked at the other side. Three plus four, that equals seven. So you have the number 77. Okay, so just two options for how to solve it. Right, we can go down or we can go across. But just remember, it's always important to look at how many ones you have. Okay, so sometimes that TO chart helps us out, especially when they're across like this, right? Because if we had too many, we would know to put another one over here. All right, look at the bottom one. We're not going to worry about that right there. Write the addition, write the addition that the model shows. So really, it's the addition sentence that the model shows. So let's look at this one okay so it's missing the addition sentence that means it's missing the plus problem 
So think about what we've been doing each time, right? We look at the top part for one number and the bottom part for the next number. So look at that top part. How many tens are in the top part? One, two, three, four, five. Five tens and one, two ones. So five tens, two ones. What number is that? 52. Look at the bottom part, right? How many tens is there? One ten, how many ones? One, two, three, four, five. Five ones. So we have 52 plus 15, okay? How much does that equal? I want you to take a minute, add your ones, add your tens, see what do you get? What's your answer? What's 52 plus 15? If you're hitting play, it's because you're ready to check your work. So let's look. How many ones do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven ones. How many ten? And that's a single digit, so we can stay there. How many tens? One, two, three, four, five, six. What number do we make? Sixty-seven. So 52 plus 15 equals 67. All right, my first graders, we're going to do some practice.